Google Meet, Google Doc, Google Sheets, make it stop. You don't need to know it, we gon' bring it to you, show it, cause it's T E C H T I P. Get ready, are you ready? Cause it's Tech Tip Tuesday. T E C H T I P, hey. Give it to him, give it Tech Tip Tuesday. T E C H T I P, hey. Give it to him, give it Tech Tip Tuesday. Hey Bulldogs, Mrs. Smith here with your Tech Tip Tuesday. This tech tip is coming in from Mrs. Burke, our master teacher. So were you ever scrolling your phone and find an amazing article that you wish you could save to your Google Drive or later be able to refer back to? Well, here's the tip for you. So once you find the article, you're gonna screenshot it and then you're gonna click on that little screenshot in the lower left-hand corner. Select full page, okay? And then you see it copies the entire article and then you're gonna go to save PDF to files and then you're just gonna select your Google Drive and then you could create a folder or save it to one of your existing folders. Pretty cool. Thanks Mrs. Burke for sharing this helpful tech tip. Hey Bulldogs, so this is a really cool website that'll get you any and every font you could imagine. I absolutely love this site, 1001freefonts.com and it's super simple to use. So there's a bunch of different categories right here and as you scroll down right here, I have the Disney ones. So I have the traditional Disney font right there, A Bug's Life. There's a bunch of different movies that you see the fonts. So this is really cool if you're designing an invitation for a birthday party, or maybe you want to make a card for somebody or design a t-shirt. Okay, these are really cool fonts that you could use. When you click through, you'll see there's a bunch of different ones. And these are really neat you could use for your presentations or reports you're doing in school. So all you need to do is click on download and then it'll download the file down here. You're gonna double click on that or wherever it saves on your computer, go in your downloads folder and then it'll bring you right here. And then you're going to click on the TTF file. Okay, so once you click on that, it's gonna bring you to this. You're gonna to go to install and it's installed on your computer for you to use forever. So pretty cool, 1001freefonts.com. Hey Bulldogs, another really cool tool that you could utilize in Google Docs is voice typing, and it's already installed for you. So I'm gonna click on tools up here and select voice typing. The first time you use this, you will have to allow um, the voice typing to use your microphone. So once you have this up, you could select a language, and then you're just going to press this here. And you'll see as I am talking, it will pick up what I am saying. You have to make sure you enunciate your words and talk a little slowly, which is a bit hard for me, um, but you could utilize things such as period to add a period to an end of a sentence. You can also say new line and it'll bring you to the next line. So those are a few of the features that you could utilize in here. So it's pretty cool and an easy way to get things typed up, or maybe you're busy and on the go or doing other things. You could just talk to your computer, have it all typed up, and then go back in and edit it and make sure everything makes sense. As you could see, some of mine does not. <laughs> but a pretty cool tool that you could utilize. And I will see you next week for Tech Tip Tuesday. Exclamation point.